Hi, this is Logan from Logan'sRunThePodcast.com, and this is another one of my video tutorials. Today we're going to be looking at downloading, installing, and setting up SJ Phone for use with TalkShoe. SJ Phone is a free SIP program produced by SJ Phone at sjlabs.com. And here we're on the, the uh, front page here of their website, and you can see all the downloads available here. SJ Phone is used with your PC, and here we're going to use the stable version. And you have versions for Windows, another version for Windows, a slightly older version there, for Linux and Macs. And what we're going to do is we're going to download here. And I'm not going to go through the actual download because I already have the file saved because it did take me about five minutes to download it. It is a 4.92 megabyte file. shouldn't take that long, but it did. But normally I would save it to a certain spot, like in my case, my desktop, and I would go ahead and save the file. But since I already have the file saved, and we're going to get ready to install it. Here is the SJ Phone exec file here. This is the installation file. And we're going to click on that. And you may get a user account control. Go ahead and approve that for use. And here is the installation wizard. Now, after you go through and you read and you must agree with the license agreement below, and it's your standard license agreement, your terms of service type agreement. Go ahead and approve that. Hit next. Now this part here seems to take a while, but once it gets going, it is very quick. But it takes about a minute or two to actually get started and get initialized. And there it goes, it's actually starting up rather quick. Personally, I use Xlight as my my prime uh, SIP for dialing in. I prefer to use Xlight, I've never had a problem with that. But SJ Phone, a lot of users on TalkShoe do use that and they enjoy it. We're going to click Finish. And in a moment or two, it should bring up the, uh, the SJ Phone interface here. It's your basic interface. There's no frills to it. It looks like a little phone handset. You have a dialing pad here that you can open and close. What you want to go to is you want to go down to the menu section down here and it pulls up all your different menu options. And we want to go to options. The very first key you want to go to is audio. And you want to make sure that these two boxes are checked. Automatically adjust microphone volume automatically adjust silence detection level. Down here, you want to make sure that for your playback, your recording, that you have whatever device you're using. I am using a Logitech G35 headset, so I always make sure that that's used and clicked for these two items so that the, the SJ phone can recognize it and configure it. After you have that done, go up to Profiles. Now in Profiles, when I first started off, and this already has all my configurations in here already, I did not have this PC to PC status here. What I had to do is I had to go down to New, and I typed in a new one myself. Just like that. And I went down and I used it Direct PC Calls. Now I'm not going to uh, OK this because I already have it there. But once you have that there in the box, you want to highlight it, and you want to go to Edit. Now this is your profile option page, and you see PC to PC SIP. It's a SIP type. It gives the file information. You want to go to Advanced. Now most of these boxes will be checked, but when you first start out, Use Short Headers is not checked. Make sure you put a, a check mark in that box. So we look like something like this. After that, you want to go up to the Stun tab. Now with the Stun tab, it did not. this is how it initially looked here. You want to make sure that you check Use Discovered Addresses in SIP. And this box was, was blank at the time. Type in stun.softjoys, S-O-F-T-J-O-Y-S dot com. Press OK, and then you can OK out of this as well. And that's as easy as it is for setting up SJ Phone. Now what you want to do is, down here, as I mentioned earlier, you have a phone pad. And if your phone pad is not available, you can click on this button over here.
and this will actually bring it out for you. You have different buttons up here. You have a contact button. You have a button that shows you all of your dialed telephone numbers. You have one for received calls. The settings that we just went through here will be for using with TalkShoe. You have missed calls because if you have a free VOIP account set up, you can actually receive and transmit telephone calls like you do with a regular phone. But to call in to TalkShoe to go access into a show, you want to type in, you can use it here, or you can use your com computer keypad, which is what I normally do, 66.212.134.192. And then I hit the enter. And if it works out right, and we're going to pull my headset away so we can hear the prompt here from the TalkShoe operator, if it works out right, you should hear something like this. And there we go. We have a working SIP program able to call in to talk to you. Well, this has been Logan with one of my video tutorials. You can find all of our video tutorials at loganstromthepodcast.com. You can also find them at talkshoesupport.com. Until next time, you have a great day.